With the group gone and things a little quieter, a frail figure appears at the mouth of one of the burrows. It's Shakespeare. He's looking like he's suffering the effects of a heavy night on the town, but at least he's alive. Shakespeare is only 30 centimetres tall and weighs less than a kilo, so the odds are heavily stacked against him. Puff adder venom rots the flesh, and he had enough to kill a human. Despite this small miracle, he's not out of the woods yet. His system is full of poison, and the flesh on his leg will be starting to rot. So staying with him is his sister, Mozart. She'll be keeping him company and scrutinizing the skies for birds of prey. They are from the same litter and are very close, so it will be a great comfort to Shakespeare to have her around. Carlos, a sinister stranger from the Whiskers' arch-rivals, the Lazuli, has been creeping up on the babysitters and flowers' pups. No one is sure what he wants, but with the pups around, the babysitters aren't taking any chances, and one of them has gone to fetch flower and Zaphod to scare him off. The pups have picked up on the tense atmosphere and are aware that something is wrong. At last, Zaphod and Flower make it back. They immediately set to work laying down their scent, asserting their ownership of the land. The roving male Carlos consents that these two mean business, and besides, Zaphod is a lot bigger than him. So he legs it. Flower and the rest of the Whiskers family appear to have seen off the enemy, but everyone is on edge. Suddenly, another alarm goes up. The Lazuli are back and they mean business. It seems they're intent on taking over this part of the Whiskers territory. But their opponents are equally determined not to give it up. Zaphod takes on the dominant male from the Lazuli and tears into him. The Lazuli are forced into a final retreat. Whiskers 2, Lazuli nil. In the fading light, a familiar figure reappears. It's Carlos, the roguish male. But this time he's alone and is gazing at some of the Whiskers' young females. This can only mean one thing. He no longer wants to make war. He wants to make love. Carlos is trying to look as casual as possible as he waits for Daisy to take the bait. It's a dangerous liaison worthy of Romeo and Juliet, and both of them look a bit shifty. Together at last, Carlos can finally get his paws on the spoils of war. And Daisy proves to be a bit of a pushover when it comes to the boys. It's most likely that this was what Carlos was after when he approached the babysitting burrow earlier in the day. However, the rest of the Whiskers group have noticed she's missing and they are desperately trying to see what this dirty stopout is up to. Finally, young Daisy tries to rejoin the group unnoticed but it's not going to work. She reeks of Carlos's aftershave, and despite her attempts to apologize, the group are confused and angry. Luckily for Daisy, it's getting late, and the group have to return to the burrow for the night, so she's got away with it this time. Daisy heads home in disgrace with the rest of the family. 